So let's begin. We're gonna just bounce on those heels. Draw in the core and just lift the heels off the ground and drop down. See if you can loosen up those arms, loosen up those shoulders, just let everything flop and jiggle. And sigh out with each drop. You can exaggerate the shoulders and lift them up to the ears and let go. All the stresses of the day dropping into the earth. And you can really feel it vibrate up the spine, perhaps into the shoulders, into the neck even, and maybe into the brain. <laughs> And then slow that down and just swing those arms backwards and forwards, bending the knees and just swinging the arms. And then bend the knees more deeply and start doing a slight forward bend motion. Remembering to let go on the out breath. And stretch up on the in breath. Last time, inhale, and then let one arm go behind and come up, and the other arm go down and come up. Exhaling, inhale, exhaling, inhale, exhaling, inhale, last motion, inhale. Bring those arms down to the sides. Take a wider stance and swing those arms in a circle as they come out to the side, step the foot behind. In breath as you circle round, out breath as you step behind. In breath as you circle round, out breath. In breath, out breath. When you come over to the other side, pause. Take the elbow back and lift the sternum and then exhale, squeeze the arm along the other one, release. Inhale, out to the side. Breathe in as you open the chest. Exhale as you stretch. Once more to each side. Inhale, lift the sternum, open the chest. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale to the side. Inhale, open. Exhale. And release those arms. Let's move into a twisting motion, drawing in the core, lifting the heel that's furthest away and really letting those arms spread wide and lengthen outwards from the shoulders down to the fingertips. <clears throat> Try to feel a dragging sensation as if gravity were trying to pull your arms off your body. And really let go into that feeling of the arms just stretching away from the body. <clears throat> and then bring a little bend to the knees so you can flip the arms higher. And so the arms are not actually lifting, you're flicking them upwards with a bend and straighten of the knees. See how high you can get those arms without doing a thing. Kind of feels a bit weird and a little bit like you're going out of control almost. <laughs> and then slow it down. Just letting those arms come back to the center. Excellent. <clears throat> you're gonna take a step forwards and come into a lunge position. Inhale those arms up above the head. Exhale them down by the side. Inhale them up to the ears. Exhale them down to the ground. And uncurl, coming all the way to the top, swiveling back to face the front, releasing those arms. And then stepping the other foot out to the side, coming into that lunge. In breath, raise the arms up, 
Exhale, bring them down to the side. Inhale, sweep the arms forwards. Exhale, down to the ground. And then uncurl, coming all the way up, stepping back to the center. We're gonna put hands on the hips and take a balance or hold the wall. And you're gonna just lift and circle the knee, opening the hip joint. Be wary of any clunking. If you can make it not clunk, that's better for your hip joint. I've just got my elbow against the wall here, so complete cheat. <laughs> and just be gentle and then go the opposite way around. And then releasing that leg, swinging it forwards and backwards. And coming to a stop. Changing legs. So again, circling the other leg now. Just gently making sure your hip is not clunking and clacking. Be really gentle and just do as much as you can do without any struggles. So if it's a low movement, keep it low. If you can go higher with ease, then do that. That's usually what happens when you start off nice and gentle. And then go the other way around. Just working into that hip joint, nice and steady. And then coming back to center, swinging the leg forwards and back. And come back to yourself. Take a wide stance, breathe up the front of the body, exhale, forward bend. Bend the knees, uncurl, in breath, rising up, stretch and open wide, look up, and then exhale, fold forwards and down. Bend the knees one last time, reaching up to the sky, opening, slight back bend if you can, exhale, forward bend. And just feel the stretch through the back of the legs as you hang out here. And then bend the knees, walk those feet closer to hip width and uncurl. Rising up and releasing those arms to either side. And now nod the head forwards, chin to throat. And breathe it up straight. And then let the head go back if that's comfortable, chin towards the ceiling. And then exhale the head back to center. Inhale, turn it to one side. Exhale back to center. Inhale to the other side. Exhale back to center. One ear direction of shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, center. Exhale to the side. Inhale, center. Out to the other side. Inhale, center. Turning in one direction. Inhale to center. Exhaling to the other direction. Inhale, center. Exhaling, head back, chin towards the ceiling. Inhale back to center and exhale the head forwards and stay there for a moment, relaxing the shoulders, keeping the sternum lifted, feeling the stretch at the back of the neck. And then inhale, head back to center. Roll the shoulders and please have a drink of water. We're going to work with um, EBR3. So that's our manifesting sequence. So if you're looking to manifest something, a job, a holiday, an amazing Christmas present, this is your chance. So let's uh, stand in our center with our feet around hip width and just get really tall. Grow tall, relax the shoulders, 
Lengthen the back of the head, draw in the perineum muscle and the core muscles, and just pause for a moment in your center. Focusing on the heart space in this moment, and if you feel comfortable, you can let your eyes close or turn your gaze towards the floor. And with each in-breath, just feel the chest cavity expanding to the front of the body and softening in the front of the body on the exhale. Feel the sides of the chest expanding and the front as you inhale and softening as you exhale. On the next inhale, Feel the back of the body, the sides and the front expanding and softening. And just stay focused on the whole rib cage to all sides, expanding and softening in rhythm to the breath. Keep the awareness on all four sides of the rib cage. And then think of a joyful event in your life, something that always makes you smile and brings a warmth into your heart. And then with each in-breath, grow that feeling, grow that sensation. And now in that beautiful sensation and feeling, place your intention, your wish, your desire, just affirm it to yourself. Any, any way is fine. Just think of it in a positive, pure, vibrant light. And then opening those eyes, breathing in, take those arms up, bring the hands together and then draw them down to the heart as though you were anchoring that intention into that pure joy and, and anticipation. On the next in-breath, draw the hands upwards, release the palms. Turn to the right, releasing the arm down behind, forwards and up on the inhale. Releasing struggles behind you, inhaling a lightness, a joy. Exhaling struggles, inhaling joy. Exhaling struggles, inhaling joy. One more time to each side. Letting go and rising up into the light. And then releasing the palms in front of you, turn your right palm to face you. I'm just turning a little to the side so you can see me. On an in-breath, take one arm all the way back as the other arm stays in the front. Stretch the arms away, looking at the back hand, and then bring that arm back. Turn the palms the opposite way, gazing into the palm facing you. You inhale, opening the arm behind. Exhale, extend the arms, lift the sternum, inhale, come back to the center. Rotate the palms the other way, inhaling as you open the arms to the back and front, exhaling as you extend the arms, lift the sternum, and inhaling as you come back. Exhaling as you rotate the palms. Last time, inhaling, opening to the back. Exhaling, extend, lift the sternum. Inhale, come back to the center. Now turn the palms to face you and imagining you're collecting more of that joy as you draw it into the chest. And then send it out into the space all around you. Inhaling, straightening up, lifting sternum. Feel your front chest expand. Exhaling, open the back of the chest, round the spine and inhale joy and exhale it all around you inhale joy and exhale it all around and bring the hands to neutral i'm turning you stay 
In breath, expand your joy and exhale, soften the knees. In breath, feel as though the breath is moving the arms. So really try to tune in to your own breathing rhythm. And imagine your arms becoming lighter and lighter. All four parts of the chest expanding. And the arms becoming very light and expansive in the space around you. Collecting and enjoying all of that joyfulness, that warmth, all of that love and kindness and compassion. And then gradually just let the arms come, hands come closer and closer until you're holding this intense ball of joy in front of you. Focus on the hands and really try to feel a vibrancy, a lightness, a warmth, perhaps. We're going to move into the archer. So you're going to turn the toes to point in one direction, stepping one foot forwards. The leg that's in front, that arm extends forwards, palms facing away. And the other hand, you are... Hang on, let me show you. You're pointing your pointing finger and middle finger and bringing in the ring and the little finger. Take aim, engage the core, soften the shoulders. Think of your goal. Think of the joy you've collected and created. Now bend the back leg, straighten the front leg, draw your arrow back, collect the joy on your goal that's on your arrow, and then send it forwards, traveling across the feet. <sighs> And see it shoot into the universe. Do that twice more. Soften the shoulders, draw in the core. See your goal. Send it out there. Inhale and exhale. And then lifting up to the sky, rotate those toes to the side and exhale into a wide stance. Just take a few releasing breaths here. And then road, unbend the knees, uncurl. Rising up and bringing those hands down in front of the body once more. You're rotating the toes or stepping the other leg forwards into your runner stance. The leg that's in front, that arm stretches away, palm facing away. And make a fist, point your pointing finger, your middle finger, thumb up. Take aim, engage your core, relax your shoulders. Think of your goal and all the joy and love you have. Bend your back leg, straighten front leg, draw that goal through the heart space, collecting that joy, aim, and then let it go. With all your will, with all your joy. Inhale, twice more. Send it with joy with clarity, just enjoy that motion. And then lifting up, reaching up, release the mudra, folding down into your wide stance, forward bend. And then bending knees, rotating feet round to one side, bringing the back knee down to the mat. Into your runner. The palm that's on the inside of the foot faces forwards. And you can either lean the forearm on that leg or you can bring the hand to the outside of the foot. One palm, the inner palm faces forwards. Inhale all the gratitude that you can to a diagonal behind you. And then send that gratitude forwards after your goal. Do that twice more, collecting all the gratitude you can muster for your goal achieved. And one more time. Beautiful. And release down. You're gonna lift the back knee off the mat and travel with your hands all the way across to the other side, back knee coming down to the mat. So you're in the opposite direction now. 
the leg that's in front, that arm is on the leg or on the side, the opposite palm facing forwards, collecting all the gratitude on this side and sending it forwards. Just feel yourself feeling really thankful for this goal and for that possibility of you actually receiving it. Releasing that arm down, tuck the toes under, lift the back knee and travel till you are in a forward bend, wide stance. Releasing down and then bend the knees, walk those feet back to hip width and slowly uncurl, rising back up through the midline all the way up. Look upwards, imagine you're capturing a certainty, a knowledge, a wisdom, and then drawing that certainty of your goal achieved down into the very center of your being and connect with your heart space, anchoring that goal, that joy, that delight of receiving it and an open attitude. Thank you. And really sing. Beautiful. Just pause for a moment. Notice how your chest feels, the back of the chest and to the sides. Notice your whole body, your legs, your arms, your mind. And whether you feel joyful and light. And releasing that, please have a drink of water. So if you come to the foot end of your mat, so that you've got a nice long length in front of you, I'm just gonna allow the arms to dangle down by your sides. And start with your head and just let your chin drop to your throat. Let your head start pulling the body forwards. Your arms start dangling as the shoulders roll forwards. You bend the knees slightly as your upper back starts pouring down towards the floor. You're going into a forward bend all the way down to the floor. You bend the knees, bring the hands to the floor and come down onto the mat. You're gonna roll over onto your side, uh, onto your back and come to lie down on your back. So we're working with our, um, let me just see this way here. <clears throat> so we're gonna work lying down um, with our moving relaxation, that's it. Sorry, I couldn't remember the words. So our dynamic relaxation. So just settle your body as you lie on the floor. You can settle in your relaxation pose for a moment, perhaps adjusting your back so that you are really comfortable. And just take note of your whole body on the floor. So often during the day, we don't take any time to rest. And it's only when we lie down like this, you suddenly notice all the discrepancies in the back of the body. Like somewhere more tighter on one side of the body compared to the other. Sometimes even a slight twisting and pressure through the opposite sides. Focus on your breath for a few moments. Just following it in and out of the body. And you may notice your belly button rising and falling in rhythm to the breath. And you may even become aware 
of how your body starts softening a little bit closer and closer to the mat as your muscles start releasing and more of an evenness coming into the back. Feeling the whole body becoming more restful, calmer, a little softer with each out breath. Now drawing those feet together or having the knees bent, that's fine. And bring the arms down by the sides of the body. We're gonna start with the right arm. We're synchronizing all movements with the breath. So right arm lifts on an inhale and moves overhead and comes back down to the side on the exhale. Inhale, left arm up and over. Exhaling, left arm back down to the side. And do that twice more on each side. Once you've completed those three movements, just pause for a moment and notice the shoulders and the effect on the shoulders. Now focus on the right arm and the right knee, lifting together simultaneously with the breath. Inhaling, knee and arm come up and over and exhaling, they come back down. Try to begin and end at the same time as the breath begins and ends. Twice more on each side. Noticing the sensation through the hips and through the shoulders as you make these movements. Once you've completed the three times on each side, just pause in stillness, noticing the changes through the hip girdle and the shoulder girdle. We're moving across the body now. So left hip and right arm, inhale, they lift up and over. And as you exhale, they come back down to the start position. Inhaling, right knee, left arm up and over. Exhaling, back down. Twice more on each side. Feeling that crossing over through the body and perhaps even into the energy system. Once you've completed three times on both sides, you're just coming to pause and rest in stillness, noticing any shift or changes. Now focusing on the right knee, bringing that knee, taking hold of the shin, and exhaling the knee into the chest as you stretch the left leg away from you. And then releasing the left arm to the floor, holding the right knee, you're going to do gentle circles, starting from very small. Remember, don't clunk. Take hold of the left hip with your left hand and keep that hip from rocking from side to side, which will give you more clearer indication of how wide you can move and open that hip joint without rolling the body from side to side. And go the opposite direction. You may have to let go of that knee. If you want to go wider with that circle, you may just want to stay with small circles. It's up to you. Make it your own. 
And then coming back to the center, taking hold of that shin with both hands, pushing your left heel away as you draw that right knee in, and then releasing, taking hold of the back of that right thigh, straightening the leg to the ceiling, and exhaling that leg closer if it will. And then pause, release the arms to the side, engage the core, and slowly lower that right leg down to the floor. And pause for a moment, just noticing the change in one hip area compared to the other. So bending that right foot, placing it on the left knee. You're gonna take hold of that right knee with the left hand, extend the right arm along the floor out just below shoulder height. Breathe in, and then on the exhale, let that left right knee go over to the left side and turn the head to look at the right hand. And just breathe in here for a few moments. Just feeling that lovely opening in the right side of the chest. Soften through the body. Next in breath. Bring the knee and the head back to center, pause, and then exhale, go back into the twist. Keep your right shoulder connected to, to the floor and keep softening the body around this position. Enjoying that twisting sensation all the way through the whole length of the body. Soften the neck and the face. In breath brings everything back to center and extend that right leg. Bring your right arm to your side, adjust your body and just pause there. Noticing the changes through that right leg, right hip, right side compared to the left. Adjust your body if you need to. And then you're going to bend the left knee, draw, hold the shin, push the right heel away as you draw that left knee into the chest. And then you're going to take hold of that left knee and start small circles on that left side. Take hold of that right hip with the right hand, just to prevent you, you rocking from hip sideways, yeah? Make sure there's no clunking and you can grow ever wider. Whatever suits your hip joint in this moment, just finding a very easy, comfortable movement because when the muscles are relaxed, they will release. And then reverse that movement, go the opposite direction, finding no clunking. Doesn't matter if today you can only do small movements or even if you can only do small movements one way, it's absolutely fine. Just find what works for you in this moment. Really enjoying opening and freeing up that whole hip area. And then come back to center, take hold of that left shin, extend the left right heel away as you draw that left knee into the chest, extend the leg upwards, take hold of the back of the thigh and draw the leg closer if you can. Pause, release the arms, engage the core, and slowly lower that leg down to the floor. Comparing both hip joints, noticing how they feel. We're gonna bend, bend that left knee back towards the chest, holding the shin, Push the right heel away, draw the knee into the chest. 
and then place that left foot on the right knee. Take hold of the right left knee with the right hand. Extend the left arm out to the side around shoulder height. Breathe in and on the exhale, take left knee over to right side. Keep the left shoulder on the mat and turn the head to look at the left hand. Breathe in and out here steadily, feeling the left side of the chest open and spacious while softening through the body with each out breath. Enjoying that freedom on the left side of the chest. In breath, draws the whole body back to center. Stay there. And on the next out breath, going back into that twist. Keep that left shoulder connecting with the mat, softening through the body as you pause for a few moments in this position. In breath, drawing head and knee back to center. Take hold of that shin of the left leg. Push the right heel away, draw it into the chest and then release down to the floor. Bringing both feet together, arms by your side. Comparing all sides of the body, hopefully everything feels even once more. So just take your hands and place them in just underneath the small of your back, just in the beginning, so you know where your small of back is. Keeping your lower back on the floor and your shoulders on the floor, you're going to inhale and just hollow so that you can almost slide your hands right the way through underneath. And then release and push it down. Release the arms by your side. In breath, lift and hollow the small of the back off the mat, and then exhale, release. We're going to move, uh, do the colors of the rainbow. So with straight arms, bring the hands opposite each other, just above the thighs. And I'd like you to, or invite you, to imagine a beautiful ruby red color, translucent and bright, shining at the base of the spine. When you next breathe in, take the hands just a little higher and imagine that red light changing into a beautiful orange, bright and beautiful and translucent around the pubic bone to the back, raising it, raising the hands till they're in line with the belly button. Imagine the light, a beautiful golden yellow, shining and radiating from the belly button right the way through to the back of the body. Inhaling the arms in line with the chest and watching that beautiful Golden light change into an emerald green, shining through the heart center, through the shoulder blades in all directions, translucent and bright. Inhale, move the hands a fraction till they're in line with the throat, and that green changes into a sky blue. Spacious, clear, open through the whole of the throat and the back of the neck and to either side. Take the hands just in line with the eyebrows and imagine that blue sky changing into a beautiful midnight sky with hundreds of twinkling stars shining there. Really feel yourself connecting with the beauty of the sky, the stars, the universe. And then allowing the hands to come all the way down to the floor above the crown of the head. 
imagining a beautiful white or violet light shining and streaming around the crown of the head. Just feeling, imagining your connection with the divine. And from that white or violet light, raise the hands back in line with the eyes. And imagine that midnight sky once more, rising, feeling awe and connection, bringing the hands in line with the throat into that beautiful sky blue, spacious and light, sense of freedom through the voice, the throat, your communication. Bring the hands in line with the chest, into that emerald green radiating around the whole of the chest and through the chest, feeling a sense of peacefulness, a sense of connection, compassion for yourself and for others. Bringing the hands in line with the belly button into beautiful golden yellow radiating through the waist to all sides. Golden yellow, feeling your power and warmth in the belly button area. And then lowering the hands in line with the pubic bone into that beautiful translucent orange all around the hips. Feeling a sense of creativity welling up inside of you, through the back, through the front of the body, connecting with your creativity on all levels, and then bringing the hands to the uh, line with the base of the spine above the thighs into that beautiful ruby red, radiating all around the base of the spine and connecting down to the earth, feeling a sense of stability and strength, really connected and sorted on all levels on the earth. Release the arms down to either side, relaxing the body. And just taking a few breaths here, tracing that rainbow light from the base of the spine all the way up in a beautiful arc to the top of the head. And then all the way back down in a beautiful arc from the top of the head through the rainbow colors, back down to the base of the spine. Now bring the left hand, just the side of the hand, just below the navel and sweep the right hand out to the side and just the thumb on the eyebrow, on the forehead. On an exhale, bring that upper hand down the midline of the body and turn it so the back of the right hand rests in the left palm. Inhaling left palm out to the side, arm out to the side, Bring the thumb just above the forehead and then exhale down the midline, balancing our polarities, back of left hand and right palm. Inhaling right arm up in line with the forehead, exhaling, balancing positives and negatives. Inhaling left arm out above the forehead, balancing opposites on all levels and resting back of left hand and right palm, releasing arms down to the sides. And we create a shield of white light all around us. So crossing the arm, the wrists in front of the belly, you're going to breathe the hands up the length of the body, form the Akashic Mudra at the eyebrow center, 
gazing upwards through the mudra into a beautiful midnight sky. And then releasing the mudra, let a white light radiate all around you, coming back down to the base of the body, forming that Akashic mudra and just holding it at the base of the body. And then releasing the arms to either side. A protective shield of white light all around you. And then resting in this stillness, in this total relaxation for a few moments. Focusing on the breath, just letting it flow effortlessly in and out of the nose. Allowing each out breath to carry away any remaining tension in the body. Allow it to drain away into the earth. Experience the body totally relaxed and still. The mind focused on the breath. Allowing there to be more space between thoughts. Perhaps even a suspension of thought as you pay attention to the breath. The whole body resting, resting in stillness. Now draw the awareness to the belly button, rising and falling with each breath. Imagine that beautiful golden light radiating around that middle waist level of the body. And start to take deeper breaths, really expanding the belly button rising and then falling with the out breath. And then begin to work with the fire breath, drawing the belly button down to the spine on a sharp exhale. <laughs> Belly button snapping down to the spine and inflating on the inhale. Sharp exhale, snapping back to the spine. Noticing movement through the body. Slight rocking motion in the back, lower back, last exhale, hold it, focus on the belly area, Small of back pushing into mat, core contracted, and then breathe in, let it go. Feel the heat radiating down into the legs and the toes, into the arms, hands and fingers, up to the top of the head, filling your whole body with light and energy. Taking a deep breath and then beginning to move the toes and the fingers 
moving the head from side to side and perhaps drawing the knees towards the chest or rocking the knees from side to side, just finding whatever way back into this space is comfortable for you. And then rolling onto one side, pausing there if you wish, and coming into a seated position when you're ready. Coming into a seated position, We're just going to release the arms and sit tall in a position that's comfortable, yeah? So it doesn't have to be cross-legged, just whatever is comfortable. And let your eyes close for a moment. And just reconnect with your body and that stillness that you had when you were in the relaxation. On your next in-breath, just bring the hands to the praying hands position at the heart, pressing both palms into each other. Focus on those palms connecting. And notice if there is an even pressure on the Right hand pressing to the left and the left pressing into the right. Even pressure through each finger and palm. As you hold this mudra at the heart level, connect again with that event or moment in your life where you felt joy and happiness, where you feel appreciation and gratitude. With each in-breath, grow that feeling into the front of the chest. Breathe it in to either side and front of the chest. And breathe it in to the back and the sides and the front. So you feel an evenness through the chest cavity and the joy expanding throughout the back, the sides and the front. Live it, feel it. And then once again, think of that goal that you were trying, that you had sent into the universe. And place it once more in the center of that joy, that center of love and peace and prosperity and joy. Just place it in the very center of your heart. Wrap it up in love. Wrap it up in joy. And feel a deep sense of gratitude flowing right down into the earth. And right up into the sky. And all directions around you. Just bask in that joy, in that certainty, in a sense of holding, not onto it, but just releasing it joyfully without expectation into the universe in all directions. Knowing that you have achieved your goal. Press into those palms holding that mudra, focusing on that mudra, bringing complete balance 
to your body, to your mind, to your senses on all levels. And then releasing the hands onto the lap, palms upwards. Focusing on the palms, the open palms. And that position of receiving with joy and gratitude. Releasing, rubbing those hands together. And then you can open the eyes or keep them closed. Don't place the palms on the eyes. Just have them away from the eyes, but over the eyes. And notice how you can feel the radiation into the eyes from the palms, even though they're not touching. A warmth radiating into the eyes. And then draw that warmth over the head, down the back of the neck, down the arms, down the body, down the legs. Thank you so much for joining me.